So if you don't know, KSI has released a new song. When I say that this song has gotten an ungodly amount of hate, I am not exaggerating that. I mean, all you have to do is just go to the music video of this song. All you have to do is look at the dislike to like ratio and then the comments itself. And those already on itself speak for just how much people hate this song. And you know what? Before I get more into like, you know, about other people, what, so what people are saying and all that kind of stuff and KSI responding to it. Personally, I will say, and I'll get into it more later as well, is that the song is bad. It, it is like unironically, I'm not just saying on it to hop on the bandwagon of trashing on uh, KSI and JJ or however you know him. I am straight up saying this song is terrible. I mean, it's honestly just sounds so shit. The, his flow in this song is terrible. The lyrics are just very generic, sound like some poppy bullshit. It honestly just doesn't go well whatsoever. And KSI, because of this, has been getting clowned on online, like nonstop by so many different people. I mean, even Drake hopped in Aiden Ross's stream and commented on, he, on sh his stream, jokingly, sarcastically saying to play KSI's new banger, to like it, so that, you know, Aiden Ross could hit like a max when it came to him gambling. Even Jake Paul, like, talked crap about KSI's song. And one thing that KSI has been doing a lot is stupidly replying to all this stuff. Like right here, where, where Jake Paul made a TikTok about KSI's song, talking about how it was so bad that it made him wake up after getting knocked out by Mike Tyson. And then KSI has to say and said, the hate on my new song is so forced, lol. And then another one here is Nick A30, like hops onto this wagon as well on like shitting on KSI, saying that you think you're the king. Bro says, back down, brother. I'm the real king. Also, it's your. I mean, he kind of got him on that one a little bit, but at the same time, it is what it is. But then right here, another one, Drama Alert, posted um, a video of all these trucks doing marketing for KSI's new song, saying KSI is forcing people to listen to his new song, Think of It. This has to be some kind of form of punishment. With KSI then responding to it, saying, what the F is this caption? It's called marketing. I can't even promote without people taking the piss now. And you know what? Yes, it is obviously marketing, but I mean, it's drama alert. Of course, they're going to take the piss out of it. I mean, how stupid can you be? The song's bad. So if you're going around parading these trucks around, of course, people are going to make jokes about it. And even though it's marketing, I mean, I have i don't think I've ever seen like any kind of singer, pop star, rapper do this type of marketing where they're like driving trucks around in the city to try and like promote their new song, making the trucks play the sound. I mean, I feel bad for those drivers, you know, if they have to listen to that entire, that song the entire day. Um, one of the funniest reactions that, that I saw to all of this was directly involving uh, KSI as well, was where he hopped onto Speedstream. And this is just, I don't even know why he did this. And I can't play the sound of this. I would like to, but unfortunately, like I saw this tweet from Ludwig earlier in the day, was that, well, actually it's not early in the day, sorry, a couple days ago, where his entire live stream got taken down because he listened to the song for like what seems to be like 30 seconds and his whole entire stream got taken down. So I don't want, you know, KSI to be coming after me because, you know, it, it, being a smaller creator, he's definitely going to be sending out those copyright strikes left, right, and center. I mean, I did play the song briefly on my stream today, so I'm waiting to, you know, get an email about that saying that my um, live stream is no longer viewable in every single country. But he did hop on Speed stream today where Speed was like playing the song and he was like, you know, FaceTiming Speed at the time. And Speed was just clowning the hell out of this man. He clowned him at first, telling where Speed told KSI to stop making music altogether. Like he should stop it because of how trash he is. And then KSI, the idiot, decided to like hop back on a call with, with Speed, where Speed just keeps on clowning on this man. And like, even though a lot of these YouTubers put it on, in terms of them getting like really annoyed and pissed off. And yes, obviously they put on a bit of an act. They they do. And to a certain extent, I feel like KSI is just kind of putting on this act of like, you know, oh, people are hating my song. And, uh, and maybe there's a slight part of him that doesn't care. But 
I think that this has all actually started to really get to him. And he actually has started to really care. And before I explain why I think, is that he did actually post this Instagram story um, today. Saying that imagine spending so much time and effort into making a song for people to then repeatedly take the piss out of it online. I get it's trendy to hate me right now, but can we like move on now even though like i said i definitely think that to a certain extent these content creators especially big content creators they they should know that like when things like this happen a, a lot of the times they're probably used to it and they don't really care but with like ksi is that like i definitely think that this man is is arguably like actually annoyed and actually mad at the way that his song is being perceived because if you don't know that much about ksi this guy's ego is huge i mean the, he arguably has one of the biggest egos like on the platform without a doubt to a certain extent i can like kind of understand it because i mean the man is like an og youtuber he's been around for years millions of subscribers man's a, a multi-millionaire by now and even though he doesn't make like you know the content that he used to on his own channels the side men's content is still like incredibly good every single week they pump out like you know ma like awesome videos together as well and obviously you know ksi is a massive part of that but he has had a massive ego to like even though like i said to a certain extent i understand it but it goes beyond just normal i mean every single thing that this man does he thinks he's like the second coming of fucking jesus christ i mean man thought that like when he hopped in the boxing that he was like uh, mike tyson 2.0 like that's how big this man is so in terms of like you know people crapping on his music this much i can definitely see it like hurting his ego a lot and him actually getting pissed off about all this kind of stuff and considering that he is getting pissed off about this if he's genuinely pissed off the worst thing that you can do when it comes to this is respond to people and that's what he's been doing this whole entire time all he does is respond to people retweet stuff tw puts out tweets puts out stories about like acknowledging about people hating it saying why are you guys hating on me why are you doing this why are you doing that i just tried to put out music and then all of a sudden it's getting repeatedly shit online a couple things man two things one the song is ass i mean like it's honestly shit like I, and one thing that i don't understand when it comes to the song being bad as well is that i don't know if anyone's heard of like ksi's older stuff like one of his songs that i actually unironically think is kind of like a bit of a banger is his song beerus that he did with randolph like six years ago like Go search it up. I don't want to play it on, on the video because, like I said, I, it might get copyright strike. But go listen to that song. Search up Beerus KSI and listen to it. It's unironically a banger. And, like, he does well when it comes to him rapping and having that aggressive style. I don't know why he didn't stick to that. Yeah, it's like, oh, as a musician, you want to, like, you know, branch out to different things. But you know what's also good? Just sticking to what you're good at. And it's like he just thought that he could go ahead and do these. Like, it's not like he, this was his first time doing this kind of singing melody type of song. He's done it before, and people didn't like it then. People have told him, and, like, fans have said for years now, it's like, like you know, he's aggressive, like, actual rapping. You know, it's, it's not that bad, is it? Like, you know, top 10, like, you know, rappers, or, like, or like would he be put in, like, a freaking, you know, best YouTube music ever? No, but it's not, like terrible like it is this and when it comes to responding to hate i mean it, it, i don't get it where if, if he genuinely doesn't like what people are saying about him the worst thing you could do is just keep on going because that it, all it does is bring more hate i mean i'm a small creator and even i already know this like this man has been on the internet for years how do you not know this by now that the more you acknowledge it and the more you try to fight back against people talking crap about you the worst it's going to get. When people say bad things about you, all you do is just go, whatever, and you just keep moving on. You don't acknowledge it. That's honestly the best thing you can do. Instead, he keeps on, like, feeding into it, which just make people, like, pump it out and crap on it even more. And like I said, yeah, it's probably getting him a little bit more attention, but at the same time, it's not really the attention that he necessarily wants because, you know, I I I've watched a lot of uh, JJ's videos over the years, especially, like, a few years ago. I used to watch him a decent amount. And, like, he generally, like, puts passion and, like, wants this music to go well. So, like, people crapping on his music Music when he puts a lot of effort into it i mean if you're a musician you're not going to like that whatsoever the fact that people are crapping all over it so you know even though he's getting attention he's probably hating the fact that you know people aren't vibing with the music at all and instead they're just making like complete jokes out of it all he has to do is just go back to you know what worked in the first place that's it 
Go back to just trying rapping instead of this melody bullshit. Your voice isn't made for it. You can't sing. Like, like the, I, I can't sing either. So I would never try. I would never try because I know. I have, I have, an, I'm humble enough to know I can't sing for shit. So I would never try it. This guy just thinks he can do fucking anything. And he thinks that anything he touches, he's just got a whole load of yes men around him. Like, how did his producers listen to this and go, JJ, this is wonderful. That's all it is. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great song. It's the best song we've ever heard. How? Like, come on, man. Come on. How many people around you just keep telling you yes? You need people around you to tell you no. That's what he needs. That's honestly what he needs. But I'd definitely like to hear what you guys think about all this down below. Um, I think case I just need to like, just delete everything that you've talked about this. Stop caring and just go back into like, you know, and just do your thing. Just just honestly, like, do your thing or do something that you're actually good at. But that's going to be it for me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Peace out.